Okay, I hit the wrong button, so we're starting with part two here. We're at Jan's Homemade Candies. This is Jan. Give a big wave, Jan. Say hello. We're talking about Hi there. talking up. She's making the chocolate. We're making black velvets. How long you been here, Jan? We've been here 19 years. 19 years. We'll 20 years in March. 20 years in March. And has this guy been with you the whole time? He certainly has. So that's Bob. And uh, Bob is uh, looks like he's not eating a lot of chocolate. He's in great shape here. He eats it all day long. <laughs> he does. He does eat it. So. I've heard chocolate's really good for you too. So yeah. let me let me switch the let me see if I could do it right this time. And switch the camera. So tell us let's see, where whoop, whoop. Hmm. No, it's not doing that. So tell us a little bit about what you're making. What I make? What you're making now. What I'm making Okay, and you got some machines going on behind us? What's that all about? Yeah, we got our white chocolate here. White this is one of our milk chocolates. This is the good old milk chocolate that we're using today. Okay, I'm going to switch back here. And this is another one of our milk chocolates. Okay, got to talk nice and loud because we got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. Go this ahead. This is another one of our milk chocolates. Um, we don't go from the bean to the bar. We get our chocolate in a 10 pound block and then we process it in here. We melt it to 108 and then when it gets to that we have what we call the seed chocolate that we'll put in the back and I will get one and talk okay. about while I'm getting it. Okay. Let's see if I can switch this again. So, what does a 10 pound block of chocolate look like? How big is that? Actually, we can take one out and have it up. All right, they're going to show us a 10 pound block of chocolate. And this is a seed chocolate. And that's, that's what? Seed chocolate? Seed. Yeah. Okay. And then it does its thing. All right. So, what do you got there? That's Every 10. One of our blocks of chocolate okay. comes from Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's some chocolate bar. Yeah, it is. You want a big candy bar? Yeah. <laughs> we'll take this chocolate bar. Wow. And then we'll break it up into usable chunks so that we can. We melt it and then temper it for use. Okay, awesome. And I see over here, we did the, talked about the turtle eggs, and as yes, that looks did. like you got turtle egg I shells sold there. Sold out of them, and I had to make some more, so I got this. The shells made, and then we got the, the little turtles made yet, but we're, we're getting there. So I've been telling people if they want to eat a try a turtle egg, this is the place to do it. They're, the ones That's you make the here. Only place you can find them. Yeah, and you, the ones you have here are not federally protected. That's right. <laughs> so they can yeah. come here and support, uh, support our local people. And, uh, now, can I turn off a couple of these machines we're not using? That would be great. So they're going to shut off some of the machines, cut down on the noise a little bit. But uh, talking about supporting our local, uh, our local merchants, our local businesses, uh, Jan and Bob also support the veterans and the armed forces and uh, you want to tell a little bit about what you do with that? Well, we do um, send chocolates and fudge to any of the wounded warriors up at Walter Reed Hospital. All they have to do is give us a call and we send it up to them. And then when we have veterans come into our shop, we always ask them if they're a veteran and they say yes. We ask what branch of the service and we have Little medallions. Can I go are over there? Military. So she showed me the drawer of uh, different. Uh, uh, this is the Air Force one. 
Air Force. Thank you for your service supporting their service. Well, Bob was at Bob was a veteran. He was in the Army. So okay. We so, really love our, our guys. So our guys are, are are sacrificing their time and sometimes their lives to for the rest of our freedom. Yeah, they are. So and these guys uh supporting them and sending chocolate there and taking care of them when they come in. They love it. Good, good. So Bob is gonna make some very healthy bark. Alright, so Bob our very healthy All right, so Bob is, look at this. Here I have a container with all of those ingredients. And I'm going to get some dark chocolate to go along with that. So I need about four and a half pounds So that looks so gooey and so good. Sometimes we'll have kids come in and they'll go, ooh, I just want to jump right into that. <laughs> like, <let's laughs> Some adults see. do too. <laughs> oh, let me see where I am. Like Willy Wonka over here. Uh -huh. Getting close. Am I allowed to say that, I guess, on video and Willy not not have, not have to pay a trademark fee to them? I think so. You can okay. Call me Willy. Okay. Do people do that? Does anybody they call? They certainly do. <laughs> some man sometimes forgets and calls him Bill. And <laughs> they show up for Willie, right? <laughs> there you go. There we go. So he's got the gooey. That is awesome looking. So this this is a long video, but everybody's loving it. Uh, So he's mixing it up. Some of the mixture in there. Mix this up. So while he's doing that, he's telling us a little bit about what he's doing. But I want to tell you, you can come in here, and they've got a uh, a cooking magazine with Paula Dean on the wall. You can see uh, uh, one of the top ten chocolate in America. In, in America, America. So. And we're uh, You guys are getting the whole Put show, the whole show at home. So you can make this at home, but I wouldn't try it if I were you. Look at it. Now, when I turn this machine on, it's, it's going to shake it. It's going to be noisy. So it might be a little noisy. And uh, what it's going to do is spread out all of this chocolate. So I'm kind of. Oh, the chocolate's dancing for us. So you know what I'd love to see from you guys watching online? I see there's 14 people. If you're not in this area, I'd love to see a comment about where you are or, you know, you're, maybe you're, you're tied to the Lauderdale-by-the-Sea area. Uh, what's that? Oh, they do ship. I, there we go. That was a good lead-in for that. So they... Now, will you ship out of the country or just in the country or... Wow. It has to be like express, so it's pretty expensive. Okay, because you showed me last time how you ship and you do the the uh, the freezer pack or whatever in there, because normally it's going to get there in like two days. Two three days. So, so they pack it right. Look at them going here. This is great. This is dancing. And uh, so love to have you post in your comments where you're from, if you've been in here. 
uh, what your favorite uh, your favorite item was. I had that that turtle egg, which was uh, really cool. My my I actually had my son. If you saw his video in our backyard, he he ate it, but he did save me a little tiny bit. Uh, and it's awesome. So I got Ann on there, Dave, uh, who I think is in Chicago probably, Don, uh, Don from Pompano is online. So this is what's going on in the back room because a lot of you guys probably come in here, you love the place, but you don't you see. see what's going on. Yeah, we, we want to tell the back stories on some of these videos and so you see this stuff because anybody can come in here and eat chocolate. That's easy. <laughs> but when well, you. This I have to cool this down for five to six minutes so that I can cut it into bite-sized pieces. Okay. So and this is the finished product, so you ah. have to try it. Oh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to definitely try that. We're going to wait a little bit, but this is called Berry... Berry Healthy Bark. Berry Healthy Bark. So you can come in here and ask for this. All kinds of great stuff in there. The uh, uh, Is that Assy Berry? Aki Berry? How do you pronounce that? Asahi berry. Okay, so this is it. What else? What else do you got here that you're? So we're gonna wait till that comes out. He's cooling well, it before down. Before you came, I just made chili truffles. Chi so wait, wait, chili truffles. Chili truffles has got hot chili in it. Get out. Hey, Don. Sunny, nice to see you online. So love to to. Have uh, where you are, if you've been in here, what your favorite item is, uh, if you get, get uh, what I found out they do also is, is she's got all kinds of great gift chocolates too. So there's some things for different uh, industries. So if you want something for your, uh, your hairdresser or your uh, different people in your life that uh, would like chocolate and uh, uh, you do the name thing too? You do the name thing on a chocolate. So one of the cool things about if you give somebody chocolate that's in their name, first of all, they're not, I can tell you they're not going to eat it right away. But they're going to show it off and uh, they're going to show their friends. So if you come in and get a gift for somebody and it's chocolate with their name on it, they are definitely going to tell their friends about it and show it to them and, uh, and probably tell them who gave it to them. So I think that's a great gift. Uh, if you're thinking about something, uh, you know, there we are. We're getting phone calls, which we're trying to, to stop. I guess I should do the do not disturb. So what else? What do we got? These are the chili truffles. They started out pretty much like the black velvet, only they have hot chili in it. Hot chili. So that's an interesting. You want to maybe cover those black velvet while we're waiting? Yeah. All right. We're going to cover the black velvets. So we're going on and on here. Uh, People probably jump on and off, but if you really want to see the whole experience, we're, we're going to go through it. And uh, you don't have to watch the whole video, but uh, it's very cool stuff. So, okay, so we got customers. Okay. All right. Bob is, so that's the great thing about having a team here that uh, gonna going to go and they're going to... They're, if they're smart, they're not going to leave me alone with the chocolate. <laughs> No, I can't do that because my wife might be watching and uh, she will definitely say, Angel, Angel Houston, good to see you on there. Dawn, we got a lot of a lot of people on there. We got 14 people watching the chocolate and uh, uh, I think somebody would notice if uh, if one of these was gone. So those are the turtle eggs, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I saw them and, and she explained to me how they were made. We did that in another video. Uh, she puts the dark chocolate turtles into the white egg. Really cool little gift for uh, for a kid or an adult in your life. Yeah. And I love this chocolate bar. I think when I was a kid, I ate one of these whole things myself, uh, 10 pounds. So Bob's here very studiously working and putting the one ingredient uh, uh, one important ingredient that they didn't talk about that I can tell from watching them is these guys put a lot of love into their chocolate so there we go we got the white chocolate 
the uh, dark chocolate, all the machines turned. I've never been in the back of a chocolate. We did, uh, we did some chocolate tours when we were traveling, but I've never seen the back where it's all made. So he's going back to the cooler. Now that looks just like a, is that, that, is that a built-in? It's going to take another minute or so, so as long as I have some time, I'll cover those other black velvets. And Bob, you were telling me, how many marathons have you run? You said Actually six. Six marathons this guy's run. Right. I, uh, I really did enjoy running, but in 2017, uh, I had to stop due to some health issues. And now I inline skate a lot. Really? So you might see me going up and down A1A here on the afternoon, but I'm not too busy here. Generally, I like to skate down to the 17th Street Causeway Bridge and back. Wow. And it's, it's nice. It's very, uh, very relaxing. So a lot of people may be watching this from other areas of the country, the world. Uh, what kind of weather we having out here if they're thinking about coming down here sometime? Well, we're in our rainy season now, so the temperature is going to be near 90 with a lot of humidity. And it's going to rain somewhere every day. So if you happen to be on the coast today, we had a little shower about an hour ago. And generally, they don't last very long. So we have a saying in my business, if you don't like the weather here, wait a minute. Exactly. So the showers will definitely come through. We do get the, uh, the breezes off the ocean here, and uh, that makes the clouds rise. And in the summertime, when it's hot, it'll rain, and then it'll move out west. So uh, there we go. So I encourage you to come on by and support all our local merchants, but come on by and, and uh, get some chocolate, support uh, uh, Jan and Bob and uh, our local community, because these guys, uh, although they are world famous, uh, it sounds like, as a small chocolate shop, they are local, locally owned and operated. And how long did have you been here? How long? We've been here 19 years. 19 years they've been here, so you don't stay someplace 19 years and not do something right and I can tell you from all the comments we got on our last videos that they're doing a lot right because there are a lot of people uh, I was an exception that didn't know that they were here and hadn't been in here before uh, but uh, certainly have a huge fan base of people that uh, that come here and people that come from all over the world and they stop here first thing and they can't wait to come back to uh, when they come back here for a vacation to, to stop in. So, so he, he's got, and he's got more stuff over here. So I'm gonna, while he's doing that, I'm gonna, can I go back out there for a second? I'm gonna just show you a few things here that, that uh, you might not have seen. Here's the Paula Dean, you may recognize her. That is uh, from the, uh, the uh, magazine that I referenced before that, uh, uh, one of the 10 best chocolate uh, places in America. All kinds of stuff here. Here's some, uh, here's some of the stuff, uh, some of the names. Uh, if you've got, uh, what is this? This one is uh, for a nurse uh, or a, uh, your pharmacist. Uh, somebody had a baby, you got the baby bottle uh, chocolate. Uh, uh, you got the uh, police for, uh, somebody with that kind of handcuffs if they've got that fetish i mean uh, if it's a policeman uh, uh so all kinds of uh things and uh and then uh, of course you got more stuff up there and you got cashews and nuts and uh like i am nuts and uh pecans and just about everything you can want we have 24 kinds of fudge 24 kinds of fudge 20 what's what's the big seller what's the uh, the dark chocolate caramel sea salt fudge Ooh, is that... one of our biggest sellers. Okay. And then we have. Um, wait, wait! I gotta see this dark chocolate potato chips. We have chocolate cake fudge, which is really good. Okay. Through other fudges. Okay, and and whatever you want. Look at all and this. Then we have dipped fruit. Dip. Which I have to make some more because we're running out. 
So for the uh, health conscious, you get your dipped fruit, you've mm -hmm. got your orange peel and mm -hmm. chocolate. Orange we have slices. a section of sugar free. Oh, There's sugar free? Diabetics. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. diabetics don't have to get left out. They got the there sugar free. Got our sugar free section right here. All right. He's ready to okay, he's ready. Okay, I'm going to go back out there to, to the bark scoring, but I also want to show you uh, Florida's finest, the alligators. If you want an alligator, but don't, you want to bite him and don't want to get bit, they got the chocolate alligators. So this is, this is called scoring the bark. Mm -hmm. You can't wait until it gets too hard. When you go to score it, it'll shatter. So okay. you just time it at the right time, and then he scores it, puts it back in for a few more minutes, and then it just breaks into the little bars. So you told me a little bit about how does somebody get into the chocolate, uh, the making chocolate like this? You have to be a chocoholic. <laughs> <laughs> so you're from... Well, when I was younger, I lived in Pennsylvania, and we were very poor at that time. I mean, I'm old. It was in the 40s. Um, so my mom made all of our chocolates for Easter. She would make all the homemade, uh, fill the eggs and put our names on it, flowers on it. She always made all of our chocolates. Once a week we did fudge night. On Saturday night she made fudge. So I've always kind of grew up on homemade chocolate. Um, and then when I married Bob, Bob had worked in a chocolate shop when he was in high school. So we were both chocoholics, and when he had a remodeling business, we would make chocolates as a thank you to his clients. And pretty soon the clients were saying, we need to get more of those. And so we turned our basement into a candy kitchen, got approval through the city in South Holland, Illinois. And um, that's where we started. All right, I, I can kind of imagine that, at, at, uh, that somebody would say, you know, honey, let's remodel something and so we get some of that chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> let's do the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you did the scoring over there? Yeah, it takes a couple of minutes and then it'll be done. All right, so we're going to keep you online, you guys, for a couple more minutes and uh, and uh, until mm -hmm. that comes out. and. Those black velvets will be done soon as well. Yes. The black velvets are going to be done as well. Right. So. Well, the chilies are done. They're ready to be cupped. And ready to be what? Put into the little plastic candy cups. Okay. So, well, that they need to be cupped. Uh, and so, generally, Jan will do all of the cupping of the chocolates because it's kind of dainty work. Um, not for a fellow that's been a remodeler, you know. I mean, if we were talking bricks or two by fours, it'd be a different story, but it's very dainty for me. That's what and I make more of the slabs, the parks, and things. So I see that you you do, the guys do more like the, the power tool stuff. Right. right. Okay. All right. Great. So there's a lot of stuff here. I can't I wish I could show it all, but uh, I did want to show off the kitchen and how this stuff is made and show you some of the little story behind uh, behind the uh, the people that run run these places. It's kind of what what I enjoy doing and uh, yeah, hope you do it too. Nobody knows what goes on in the background. Nice. You know, any of the restaurants around here, you just, you don't. You just no. go in and get the good stuff mm -hmm. and not know what, what it takes to do it. So, so that's uh, you bring you bring up a good point and something that I wanted to just talk about for a second. That I would love to do more of the what I call the in the kitchen uh, videos and and uh, the behind the scenes stories about the business owners here that uh, that work so hard, uh, especially right now working so hard through uh, through uh, this time when we don't have as many visitors as we would normally have. We've we've. Uh, so everybody's trying their best to serve the uh, to public, to be safe, to protect themselves, to protect their staffs, to protect their customers. And I uh, uh, love to hear those stories and see because, you know, when you get a, a piece of candy like that, I mean, uh, frankly, maybe you guys do more, but I, I never really 
thought about the whole story behind it and how it ended up in the cup and all the, the people, uh, the work that gets involved behind the scenes. So I hope you enjoy this and, uh, and that you're getting something out of it and that you're, uh, you're learning maybe a little and, and appreciating a lot what goes into uh, all the things that, uh, that we sometimes take for granted every day. So uh, she's putting it in the cups and uh, we'll go back, uh, back to, uh, I'll quit, I'll quit uh, pontificating. So, but also if you do have a, uh, a friend or a business that you'd like to, to uh, see the, the backstory of or you uh, want to tell a story or want me to tell the story, I would love to uh, private message me and we'll try and, uh, we'll try and get that online and, and tell that story and preserve it. Uh, and also, uh, one of the big things is we want to tell people that aren't in this area that may be thinking of coming on a vacation one day when uh, when uh, they're ready to take their next vacation we want them to think about our area and it, it, it frankly is so important to, uh, to, to our whole community and, and uh, when they come here and they decide to come here instead of someplace else uh, there's a hotel here that uh, that's gonna gonna uh, rent them a room that's gonna make a few bucks there. They're gonna have maybe, uh, if they stay here for a week and they've got a family of four, uh, I could do the math. Uh, uh, that's a lot of meals out. It's a lot of gifts. It's a lot of uh, uh, supporting our, our boutiques and our all the other businesses. So uh, please spread the word that uh, about our area uh, some people uh, feel comfortable traveling, some people are being, uh, being more responsible, but uh, down the road we are going to need uh, to come back strong. We're going to need people to choose this area over other areas when they're ready to vacation. So I hope that that makes a difference and, and seeing what's going on here helps people make the decision to choose us. So that's what we got. So what do we got? We ready or to uh, do something else or? See, I said I was gonna stop pontificating and then I didn't. So wow. Healthy bark. Enough to feed a family of four. Forty. And it's healthy. It's healthy. That's right. And the dark chocolate and all the organic fruit. We have a man up in Michigan who orders 40 pounds of this at a time. Wow. He loves it. Now, now you have to try the freshest piece of chocolate. All right. And you can pull the mask off I'm going to pull the mask down to taste it. Let we'll me... just stand back our six feet. All right. You know what? I'm going to step outside to do that, okay? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm going to switch the camera because I'm going to do that because I do want to. I do want to pull. Let's see. Not, yep, there we go. So I'm stepping outside before I pull down the mask. And flipping it down to one ear because I'm holding the camera. That, that is awesome. That is awesome. I, I wouldn't tell you how good it is, except that I see she's got a whole sheet of that in there, and uh, there is enough for everybody to come up over here. So if you're in the area, if you're not in the area, they said they'll ship it. They put uh, ice into the, uh, into the box. They've got the frozen pack because it takes about two days for it to get to you. And, hmm. Uh, that's good, so he's got the nuts, and I'm gonna take one more bite before I go in. Mm. That is awesome. So, 
I'm glad I went outside because I didn't have a bite. I had about four bites, I think. Yeah, so. So, in the place, again, look, spick and span. These guys, they didn't just do this for me, they do this all the time. Ooh, and what do you got there? Those are the chili gingers? Okay, and we got all, it's all they labeled. All labeled, so I know where they go. So we're out of the, we were out of the chili. Ooh, Irish cream, that looks good. Oh, and these with the eyes? People those bones, are, the frogger? Those are froggers. Those are peanut butter and rice krispies. So they got a good sense of humor here, too. Those are my grandson's favorites. So anything else, uh, do we want to say anything else before we shut off the video? Tell well, them. You gotta come down and Water by the sea if you don't live here because it's a great place to be. Okay. And I hope you all have a very sweet day and stay well. Okay, and give them your address and can they order by phone? Well, our address is 4327 North Ocean Drive in Waterdale by the Sea. And our phone is 954-202-9495. And I'd like to thank one of our very best customers and house for this nice apron that she made us. Oh, look at that. That's cool. And we'd like to thank all of our customers for enjoying our chocolates and supporting us over the past 19 years. Okay, so come on by. On the west side of, of uh, A1A, just south of Commercial Boulevard. Absolutely. Okay, see you around town, guys. Have a sweet day.